Hey guys, Miss Brooklyn here. Welcome back to my channel, Miss Brooklyn's Journey. I hope all of you are doing well. I am doing great and amazing. Happy to be back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget, if you like what you see, which I'm pretty cocky, you will. Not I'm just joking. But seriously, if you guys like what you see, please do yourself and myself the favor. Okay, girl, hit that subscribe button. Turn your notifications on so that you can be a part of the notification squad. That way you never miss a video. It's VIP handed straight to you. Turning the notification on allows you to know every time I drop a video. And to my day ones, my Brooklynites that's been here. What up, squad? I love you guys. If you don't get notifications, that's because it's not turned on. So make sure it's turned on. So for those of you that may not know, I am hosting a 30-day wellness, fitness, weight loss challenge. And we are now in week Four. This is the last week of the challenge. I um, am hosting this challenge on Facebook in a private group. No, you cannot join the group right now. The group is absolutely closed because whoever is in it are the remaining few that has made it all the way to the end of the week and it doesn't make sense to add people. In fact, I take people out. I don't add people right now. However, these videos, these series of videos are here on my channel. I'm going to make a playlist so that you can watch all four videos and that you can familiarize yourself with the challenge and do it on your own time. When you're ready, have some of your friends and family join you so you can have some support. Everything that we're doing in the challenge is in these videos here. It's four videos one video a week this is week four all right and the description box is your best friend because all the nutritional facts and the fitness challenge and the confidence challenges are always in the description box as well so for those of you that didn't get to join the challenge that wish you were part of the group you guys can still do this challenge here we are coming to a conclusion to week number three and i just want to say we started out the challenge with over 400 people. We're down to 299. I'm pretty sure by the time this video goes up, the number will have dropped some more. I want to congratulate every single, single last one of you that has made it through week number three. Um, personally, I felt like week number three was maybe the hardest week in the challenge because it had gotten really raw, really ugly and um really honest and i say raw and ugly because we faced some nasty harsh truths this week we really did we let go of holding hands and we had to be very selfish and really think about ourselves only this week and really zone in on why we are overweight um why do we have health issues we have to zone in on why our confidence is low and um this week a lot of us faced some ugly ugly truths and expressed some of the most beautiful, ugly truths I've ever seen in my life. I mean, if you are in the group, round of applause. Clap it up for your sisters and your brothers in the group. Clap it up for yourself. Clap it up for the people that really opened up this week and really, like, had a breakthrough this week. I mean, it was some powerful, powerful, powerful stuff going on. A lot of admittance to why we overeat why we turn to food as comfort as to why we feel food is the answer to everything and um some of the people in the group that um battles with addiction we had to actually we got to talk about it and we had to face some we had to face some truths and some realities and um it was some of the most beautiful things i've ever seen um in week number three i asked you guys to really focus on your flaws and I mean, the reason why you're here and the mantra for week number three was I will repair what I have done to me or have done to myself. And seeing so many people shout that mantra out every single day and not only shouting the mantra out, but actually opening up about what they see in the mirror, what's causing them to be insecure or unhappy. I mean, girl, baby, baby, baby. I blown away um like I'm, I'm i was so moved and motivated and touched i don't know if y'all all got together in the group and said we all gonna try on some jeans honey every like i mean there was so many women trying on jeans that were sizes smaller and they were fitting in smaller clothes like holy crap moly they're trying on clothes and it's fitting them and they're like yo i went down two sizes i went down like you know i'm just like girl you bet to stop it 
all right now no you're not you're lying you know there were so many breakthroughs this breakthroughs this week because of the fact that i took away the scales i told you guys stop weighing yourself stop worrying about the scales you guys focus so much and listen to your body you did what your you listened so much to your body your body is rewarding you now which brings me to week number four this week is entitled earning your reward slash or aka earning your weight loss week number four we are earning it it takes 30 days to form a habit it takes about 27 28 days for people to see a difference in you it takes about 27 to 28 days for you to see a difference in your body and changes okay you guys are hitting that mark very soon you're approaching it for those of you that aren't seeing those changes or people aren't really seeing many changes you need to ask yourself what have you truly been doing because this challenge works the regimen works because we i wouldn't be sitting here if it didn't work the women that are seeing results and the men that are seeing results would not be seeing the results if it did not work so having to face accountability in week number three let's bring that over carry that over here what have you been doing and what have you not been doing? Because this works. The proof is in the results. And if you are not getting that reward, you have not been honest with yourself. You know, one thing I'm very honest about on my journey is my highs and my lows. I have come here and let y'all know when I'm not doing what I need to do. When I'm not, and I don't make no excuses. I just straight up tell you straight up, this is what I'm not doing. I was doing this. I was doing that. And because guess what? At the end of the day, I might be turning on this camera, but I literally never have to ever again turn on this camera. I literally never have to turn on this camera because this is my story. This is literally my fight. Just like your fight is your fight. However, the accountability that we hold ourselves to and the community that that is with us i'm not i'm not about to waste your time and their time and everybody else's time because for somebody to invest their energy and time with you and for you to waste it that's a no-no so this is why i come on week after week and turn this camera on this is why i come here and this is why i'm saying you guys invested into me and help me get here let me help you by what i found what works coming together, making a plan, making a group, making a community and saying, yo, let's get this going because we all have this in common. It's about our mental, our physical, our emotional, our spiritual strength and wellness and weight loss. The physical is really just the reward, baby. It is the reward. Earn your weight loss. Earn your reward. And one of the group members posted a photo of me <laughs> and it was almost like an outer body experience looking at myself from where I started to where I am now. I was just like, whoa, you know, like, ah, I think this week is going to be the week of victory for us all. Like, seriously, because this is the start of a lifetime for a lot of people. And just seeing from day one, I called it from day one. As everybody joined the group, I called it. I sat there and looked at every person that posted and every person that was serious about it. And I knew who would be here this to this last week. From day one, I knew who was going to make it to week four and who wasn't. You know, the crazy thing is hunger knows hunger. You know how other homeless people can identify with other homeless people because of what they don't have in the life struggle and the hardship they go through? Hunger identifies hunger. There's a saying, the real recognize the real. It's absolutely true. And from day one, the women that I looked at, and I said, yeah, she gonna be here last week. Oh, she gonna make it. She gonna hit this challenge. Watch. And there's people in the group right now watching. I'm just like, yo, watch them hit 100 pounds loss. Watch them hit 80 pounds loss, 60, 50. There are people I'm looking at that I'm like, yo, she's gonna hit it. Because hunger sees hunger. There are people, this is life changing if it's not life changing for you you're not ready a lot of people always ask how do you get this and honey you, you have to want it as bad as you need to breathe you need to want it and that is the only way you will see that is the only way you will earn your results speaking of hunger let's talk about our nutritional plans for this week so the list for this week will not change it's 
pretty much going to stay the same. I might take off some things and maybe add one or two things. But for the most part, as far as I'm looking and I can see, our list is remaining the same. What is changing is you must, every single day, replace one meal with the cabbage detox soup. Oh my God, Brooklyn, you're killing me. We're going back to the soup. Yes one meal must be replaced with the cabbage detox soup for example you would have your breakfast right with whatever ingredients is on the list let's keep it clean let's keep it healthy right and then oh it's lunch time oh, okay and then you're gonna have your snack and then oh it's lunch time you know what I'm gonna do the cabbage soup then you gonna have your snack or oh it's lunch time I'm gonna have my meal and for dinner you would have your cabbage soup so, like I said, one meal must repla be replaced with the cabbage soup every single day for this week. Okay, we are carb cycling. However, we are only carb cycling two days this week, and it must be the two days that you are strength training. Let me say it again, because some people, you know, a little last week, I saw a little bit too many carbs on the menu. For some people that, you know, I was very specific about weight class. Weight class, okay? You must carb cycle only two days this week. Okay, we're going to go by weight class, and if you have a specific weight class it might just be one day this week however um you know for the most part i'm gonna leave it up to two days this week it has to only be what's on the menu no other carbs other than what is on the menu okay i want to talk about the detox water because some of you guys are slowing down with it i must see these detox waters being made and drink i posted the list um or the recipe page menu or whatever with detox waters you can choose from i'll post it again if you need it i'll have it in the description box but these detox water these these detox waters need to be circulating in the group 32 ounces daily every day drink that detox water on top of the 32 ounces you need to be drinking your regular water okay so if you drink 32 ounces of detox water then 32 ounces of regular water you need to drink a gallon a day i know a lot of you are like that is a lot of water i can't get a gallon a day if you can't get a gallon a day in for at minimum, minimum drink the 32 ounces plus another 16 ounces of regular water and we good. Like I'm trying to get you guys to drink as much water as possible. So drink your water and drink your detox waters. It is important. Pick the ones you want to make for yourself. If it's for metabolism, fat burn, if it's for hunger control, pick it. It's so many different detox waters to make. You don't only have to stick to one. You can make several different ones if you want. Some of the ladies in the group are making several, several different detox waters. But I do want to see the detox waters circulating and another thing that i want to talk about really quickly when it comes for the nutritional part of the challenge this week is portion control utilize the portion control a lot of you guys are packing it on i know we're eating the point is that we need to be eating five to six small meals a day that means three meals and three snacks or two snacks okay so it's like breakfast snack lunch snack dinner snack um or just dinner and no snack after but i need to see more portion control you guys it's week number four right now now y'all need to be pros at how this thing go like now it's like adaptation adaptation a lot of people already is adapting they're no longer craving sweets they're no longer craving fatty foods fat carbohydrates they're no longer craving it and they're saying y'all it's it's getting here if it's not getting here you have not been doing what you need to do it takes 30 days people 30 freaking days people addicts can actually get clean in 30 days and if they can do that they can get clean in 30 days. You can adapt a new eating lifestyle and continuously keep cycling on moving forward. I've been on this thing for four years. Continuously cycling on moving forward. I have learned smart decisions. I have learned healthy alternatives. I have learned that I can be around certain things and when I know I should not have it this particular day and just walk away. This is about adapting this is about replacing this is about learning the healthy lifestyle and moving forward we're moving forward it's week mother freaking four you should have it down by this week portion control should automatically you should know the proper sizing automatically oh this is too much it's too little automatically it's week four people you either gonna cross that finish line or you're not it's week four So our fitness goals for this week, I thought we can do something fun. Um, so for this week, our fitness goals, I would like for us to hit 10 miles of working out. So you're either going to work, walk, run, treadmill, elliptical, whatever. But um, 10 miles should be completed by the end of the week. By the end of the week, I mean five days minimum. You have five days minimum to work out, two days to rest. 
five days minimum to work out two days to rest you need to complete a total of 10 miles of working out this week with that a minimum of 4,000 calories need to be burned a lot of us could burn that 4,000 calories within two to three days so I know that's not hard but some of us need a little bit more push than others but we're gonna do it we're gonna get through it give me a minimum of 4,000 calories burned in five days 10 miles in five days okay and that's only 800 calories per workout give me 90 minutes 90 minutes of sweating show your proof post it up I want it in the group pound sexy sweat show your proof hit get that motivation going because for the people that weren't motivated they motivated now because people in the gym getting it crazy they in the gym now getting it crazy they at home working out getting it like you there's people that does it at home and there's people that hit the gym pick which one you're gonna do and get your stuff together it's week four people week four do whatever you have to do to get there for those of us that are on a bigger scale I'm talking you know I don't think I don't think there's anybody in the 400 still in the group <laughs> which I'm so I'm so damn happy to say like I'm so damn happy to say however you still you know still on a larger scale of the 380s the 390s give me what you can get get as close to that 4,000 number as you can push yourself I'm not saying overexert yourself I'm saying push past the pain a little bit every day stretching is essential stretch before stretch after get that Epsom salt if you need it lower your sodium intake increase your water intake it will stop the muscles from hurting so much so which brings me to this week's confidence challenge this week's confidence challenge I want to say is literally wearing your reward and your confidence so for this week I want every single one of us remaining in the group to pamper ourselves you must do one or all of the things pamper yourselves I want you to do your hair get your nails done get your feet done something to pamper yourself we're gonna take over our selfishness it's about us wearing our confidence pamper yourself get a facial you don't have to do every single one of these things but I want you to do at least one get your feet done get your nails done do your hair something style get a cute little cheap wick something pamper yourself this week okay I want to see what you did on top of pampering yourself four times this week you must get dolled up and by dolled up I mean take an extra 15 20 minutes to take care of you that means you're going to take time to do your hair you're gonna take time if you wear makeup do a little light beat throw some mascara on make your eyes pop lipstick honey do you know what confidence lipstick gives baby my lips go from sad to oh let me be your wifey okay when I don't want some lipstick I'm just saying I want you to pamper yourself get dolled up four times this week pick a nice outfit four times this week I want you to dress yourself up nicely if you're working in the office put some damn effort in if you're working in an environment honey go in there cute ask let I want people to say girl where you going after you going on a day after yes with myself pamper yourself for the men in the group I think there's only one man left. I kicked all the other men out. I think they was just sitting there watching. For the men in the group, put yourself together, honey. Okay? DL, you know who you are, boo-boo. Get yourself together. Take time out. Pick a nice... Uh, something that makes you look good and feel good in it. All right? You're a man. Get your, pamper yourself, too. Get a facial. Do, like, yo, don't think only women can do these things. You can do it, too. Make, groom yourself. Ladies, let's groom ourselves. This week is about killing it we worked for this we earned this you're gonna get dressed at least four times this week take those pictures do something style your hair up all right throw some curls straighten if you're curl do something pamper yourself make your husbands or your mans and them or your boobs and them look at you like damn huh like pamper yourself and post your proof i want to see the proof four times this week we gonna like listen so no more rolling out of bed looking like hermits because I know sometimes I do too I come on here looking like this but trust me y'all <laughs> okay I be looking like a hermit most days I'm not even gonna lie like this day listen there's weeks I will look like a hermit for weeks Brooklyn will not show up honey this is who you call Miss Brooklyn but as soon as this come off baby I'm tucked away and it's just like straight up I'm somebody's auntie okay in a moo moo but I'm just like, we gonna work that out. You know, we all got a little, we all got a little sexy little alter ego kitten. 
Let our alter ego show this week. We earned it. This is our reward. Okay? Who is she in my mirror? That's what we're going for this week. Who is she in my mirror? Confidence, honey. Wear it. You earn this. And even if you're not fully there, listen, let your heart catch up to your mind. Sometimes your mind has to be there first and your heart will catch up because you will fall in love with what you're doing. So even if your heart is not there, you truly don't feel confident in your heart, let your heart catch up to your mind. Um, you know, sometimes it's what you got to do. You got to fake it till you make it sometimes. So this week, um, you know, we faking it till we making it for some of us. But some of us, this little confidence challenge, we up there, baby, okay? I didn't get here overnight, honey, okay? But I'm here now. Hello. Y'all not telling me nothing. The little kitten is here. No, okay? girl. She showed up. But, you know, the point of it is, or I want you to take time for yourself to pamper yourself, make yourself feel good, look good. And with the pictures and things of that sort, or the four times this week, I want you to post, I am beautiful and I have earned the best version of myself. And I want you to look at yourself every single day. Take a minute, look in that mirror every day with you dolled up, not naked. With you dolled up, with you looking nice in your outfit. Before you even snap your picture, I want you to look at yourself and tell yourself, I am beautiful and I have earned the, vet, the best version of myself. Every day, tell yourself that I am beautiful and I have earned the best version of myself. Watch what happens. Like I said, it's not just physical, but it's also mental, this journey we have begun, you know? And it has come to an end. This is it. The journey has come to an end as far as us challenging ourselves and doing it as a challenge but the lifestyle begins after this week so just because this challenge has, and the journey in this challenge has come to an end the lifestyle begins after this week because you have to now maintain this lifestyle like I said this was a training course you're going to take the tools and you're going to begin your lifestyle. I'm so proud of every single one of you. And even those of you that go on to do this challenge after. And if you make it to week four and you have earned your reward, you have earned your weight loss. I am damn proud of you. I am getting, you know, just a little bit emotional because I never thought like it would turn out to be this amazing, amazing thing. It has taken a lot of time for me personally to construct this challenge, these plans, these weeks, and to be this engaging and invested into complete strangers who I call my sisters and my brother. And um, investing time and dedication and just getting to know people. It takes a lot of time on top of whatever my life is throwing at me. But I feel like every single one of you that are here right now is worth it in these weeks. For those that didn't make it, you weren't ready. And it's okay that you weren't ready. If you are ready, we will get there. But for those of you who said, I am ready, and really took this seriously, and has earned this reward, this moment, this victory, clap it up. Like, I'm so proud of y'all. Like, for real. I'm just like, y'all are my sisters and my brother. And I'm just, I forever will be a part of me. Like, for real. This is something amazing that we've done. Like, clap it up. And for those who just supported us throughout this entire thing, you guys may not have been literally doing it, but y'all was fighting with us because y'all supported us, uplifted us, kept us accountable, kept us going. And we thank you so much. We really, 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 truly do from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you so much. And, um, yeah, this challenge has kicked my ass. So, um, I'm going to take a two weeks hiatus off of YouTube. Like, I do have two videos coming up after this, which will be a meal prep and a what I ate today video. You guys will see after this. But I will be gone for two weeks, as in the very next week of the challenge, I'm dedicating to just focusing on whoever's remaining so that we can just adjust to the lifestyle. I'm going to be with you guys in the group, helping you guys adjust to the lifestyle. So I want to take time and really focus on them. So that's privately. There will be no videos on that. It will just solely go on in the group. As we transition to this is our lifestyle and we're going to adjust to our lifestyle and uh, we'll figure that out in the group privately but I will be off of here but for about two weeks but I will drop two videos which will be a meal prep and what I ate today then I'm coming back with my way in for you guys so you guys can just see how I'm progressing and what's going on with me life after the challenge and everything and such as that and, and things of that sort weighing in. <sighs> It, is, it has been my absolute, absolute, absolute pleasure doing this with you guys. And 
really um i'm hoping we can do another round i'll see how i feel when i come back like maybe in the spring we'll do another round it'll be a whole new program i'll probably go more in depth with the nutritional stuff see what we could come up with and stuff like that but um i definitely want to say it has been a pleasure i have come to know you guys and love you guys and form a bond and just even with my supporters my subscribers that come back week after week every single day i love you guys so much we at like i don't even know how many subbies we at but we at like we're just Yo, we're growing, the community is growing, we're clapping it up. I love you guys so much. I want to thank you guys so much for holding me accountable on my journey, getting me to this point, and continuing. Like, it doesn't stop. I'm not where I want to be, and I, I'm going to keep going, you know? I have my ups, and I will have my downs, but I will always be up with the grace of God and you guys as a community. So, with that being said, I love you all. Please like this video, share it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.